Bergamo Italian, Bramo listen, Lombard, Bergam Brem listen, from the Proto-Germanic elements asterisk Berg plus asterisk Heim, the mountain home, is a city in the Alpine Lombardy region of northern Italy, approximately 40 km 25 miles northeast of Milan, and about 30 km 19 miles from Switzerland, the Alpine lakes Como and Iseo and 70 km 43 miles from Garda and Maggiore. The Bergamo Alps Alpi Orobi begin immediately north of the city. With a population of around 120,000, Bergamo is the fourth largest city in Lombardy. Bergamo is the seat of the province of Bergamo. The metropolitan area of Bergamo extends beyond the administrative city limits, spanning over a densely urbanized area with slightly less than 500,000 inhabitants. The Bergamo metropolitan area is itself part of the broader Milan metropolitan area, home to over 8 million people. The city of Bergamo is composed of an old walled core, known as Città Alta, upper town, nestled within a system of hills, and the modern expansion in the plains below. The upper town is encircled by massive Venetian defensive systems that are a UNESCO World Heritage Site since the 9th of July 2017. Bergamo is well connected to several cities in Italy thanks to the motorway A4 stretching on the axis between Milan, Verona, and Venice. The city is served by Il Caravaggio International Airport, the third busiest airport in Italy with 12.3 million passengers in 2017. Bergamo is the second most visited city in Lombardy after Milan. Topic History Topic <inaudible> Antiquity Bergamo occupies the site of the ancient town of Bergomum, founded as a settlement of the Celtic tribe of Senomani. In 49 BC it became a Roman municipality, containing c. 10,000 inhabitants at its peak. An important hub on the military road between Friuli and Raetia, it was destroyed by Attila in the 5th century. <inaudible> <inaudible> Middle Ages From the 6th century Bergamo was the seat of one of the most important Lombard duchies of northern Italy, together with Brescia, Trento, and Cividale del Friuli, its first Lombard duke was Wallaris. After the conquest of the Lombard Kingdom by Charlemagne, it became the seat of a county under 1 Autaramus d. 816. An important Lombardic horde dating from the 6th to 7th centuries was found in the vicinity of the city in the 19th century and is now in the British Museum. From the 11th century onwards, Bergamo was an independent commune, taking part in the Lombard League which defeated Frederick I Barbarossa in 1165. The local Guelph and Ghibelline factions were the Colleoni and Suardi, respectively. Feuding between the two initially caused the family of Omodio Tasso to flee North Sea, 1250, but he returned to Bergamo in the later 13th century to organize the city's couriers. This would eventually lead to the imperial Thurn und Taxis dynasty generally credited with organizing the first modern postal service. Early modern. After a short period under the House of Malatesta starting from 1407, Bergamo was ceded in 1428 by the Duchy of Milan to the Republic of Venice in the context of the wars in Lombardy and the aftermath of the 1427 Battle of Maclodio. Despite the brief interlude granted by the Treaty of Lodi in 1454, the uneasy balance of power among the northern Italian states precipitated the Italian Wars, a series of conflicts from 1494 to 1559 that involved, at various times, also the Papal States, France, and the Holy Roman Empire. The wars, which were both a result and cause of Venetian involvement in the power politics of mainland Italy, prompted Venice to assert its direct rule over its mainland domains. As much of the fighting during the Italian wars took place during sieges, increasing levels of fortification were adopted, using such new developments as detached bastions that could withstand sustained artillery fire. The Treaty of Campo Formio, the 17th of October 1797, formally recognized the inclusion of Bergamo and other parts of northern Italy into the Cisalpine Republic, a sister republic of the French First Republic that was superseded in 1802 by the short-lived Napoleonic Italian Republic and in 1805 by the Napoleonic Kingdom of Italy.
Topic: <laughs> Late Modern and Contemporary. At the 1815 Congress of Vienna, Bergamo was assigned to the Kingdom of Lombardy-Venetia, a crown land of the Austrian Empire. The visit of Ferdinand I in 1838 coincided with the opening of the new boulevard stretching into the plains, leading to the railway station that was inaugurated in 1857. The Austrian rule was at first welcomed, but later challenged by Italian independentist insurrections in 1848. Giuseppe Garibaldi conquered Bergamo in 1859, during the Second Italian War of Independence. As a result, the city was incorporated into the newly founded Kingdom of Italy. For its contribution to the Italian unification movement, Bergamo is also known as Città dei Mille, City of the Thousand, because a significant part of the rank and file supporting Giuseppe Garibaldi in his expedition against the Kingdom of the Two Sicilies came from Bergamo and its environs. During the 20th century, Bergamo became one of Italy's most industrialized areas. In 1907, Marcello Piacentini devised a new urban master plan that was implemented between 1912 and 1927, in a style reminiscent of Novecento Italiano and modernist rationalism. The 2017 43rd G7 Summit on Agriculture was held in Bergamo, in the context of the broader international meeting organized in Tormina. The Charter of Bergamo is an international commitment, signed during the summit, to reduce hunger worldwide by 2030, strengthen cooperation for agricultural development in Africa, and ensure price transparency. Geography Climate Cityscape The town has two centers, Città Alta, Upper City, a hilltop medieval town, surrounded by 16th-century defensive walls, and the Città Bassa, Lower City. The two parts of the town are connected by funicular, roads, and footpaths. Upper City The upper city, surrounded by Venetian walls built in the 16th century, forms the historic center of Bergamo. Walking along the narrow medieval streets, you can visit numerous places of interest including Cittadella Citadel, built under the rule of the Visconti in the mid-14th century. Piazza Vecchia Palazzo della Ragione. This was the seat of the administration of the city in the medieval municipal period. Built in the 12th century, it was revamped in the late 16th century by Pietro Isabello. The façade has the Lion of St. Mark over a mullioned window, testifying to the long period of Venetian rule. The atrium has a well-preserved 18th-century sundial. Palazzo Nuovo Biblioteca Civica Angelo Mai. It was designed by Vincenzo Scamozzi in the early 17th century and completed in 1928. Basilica di Santa Maria Maggiore. It was built from 1137 on the site of a previous religious edifice of the 7th century. Construction continued until the 15th century. Of this first building the external Romanesque structure and the Greek cross plan remain. The interior was extensively modified in the 16th and 17th centuries. Noteworthy are the Great Crucifix and the tomb of Gaetano Donizetti. Capella Colleoni, annexed to Santa Maria Maggiore, is a masterwork of Renaissance architecture and decorative art. It contains the tomb of Bartolomeo Colleoni. Battistero Baptistry, an elegant octagonal building dating from 1340. Bergamo Cathedral. It was built in the late 17th century with later modifications. Rocca. It was begun in 1331 on the hill of Santufamia by William of Castelbarco, vicar of John of Bohemia, and later completed by his own Visconti. A wider citadel was added, but is now partly lost. San Michele al Pozo Bianco. Built in the 12th century, this church contains several frescoes from the 12th to the 16th centuries, including paintings by Lorenzo Lotto. Museo Civico Archeologico. It is housed in the Cittadella. Museo di Scienze Naturali Enrico Caffi. It is housed in the Cittadella. Ordo Botanico di Bergamo. Lorenzo Rota. Botanical Garden. 
Topic: <laughs> Lower City. The Lower City is the modern center of Bergamo. At the end of the 19th century, Città Bassa was composed of residential neighborhoods built along the main roads that linked Bergamo to the other cities of Lombardy. The main boroughs were Borgo Palazzo along the road to Brescia, Borgo San Leonardo along the road to Milan, and Borgo Santa Caterina along the road to Sirio Valley. The city rapidly expanded during the 20th century. In the first decades, the municipality erected major buildings like the new courthouse and various administrative offices in the lower part of Bergamo in order to create a new center of the city. After World War II many residential buildings were constructed in the lower part of the city which are now divided into 25 neighborhoods. Boccaleone Borgo Palazzo Borgo Santa Caterina Campanola Carnavali Celadina Centro Papa Giovanni 23, Centro Pignolo, Centro Sant'Alessandro, Città Alta, Coli, Colonia, Conca Fiorita, Grumello del Piano, Longuelo, Loreto, Malpensata, Monteroso, Radona, San Paolo, San Tommaso de Calvi Santa Lucia, Bergamo, Santa Lucia, Valtes San Colombano, Valverde con Valtes Sant'Antonio, Villaggio degli Spazite. Most relevant sites are Academia Carrara, Galleria d'Arte Moderna e Contemporanea, Gamec, Gallery of Modern and Contemporary Art. Government Demographics In 2010, there were 119,551 people residing in Bergamo in which the greater area has about 500,000 inhabitants, located in the province of Bergamo, Lombardia, of whom 46.6% were male and 53.4% were female. Minors children ages 18 and younger totaled 16.79% of the population compared to pensioners who number 23.61%. This compares with the Italian average of 17.88% and 20.29% pensioners. The average age of Bergamo residents is 45 compared to the Italian average of 43. In the eight years between 2002 and 2010, the population of Bergamo grew by 5.41%, while Italy as a whole grew by 5.77%. Economy Bergamo is situated in Lombardy, Italy's northern region where about a quarter of the country's GDP is produced. Nowadays, the city has an advanced tertiary economy focused on banking, retail, and services associated to the industrial sector of its province. Corporations and firms linked to the city include UBI Banking Group, Brembo Braking Systems, Teneris Steel, and AB Power and Automation Technology. Topic Culture Topic Notable Natives Bergamo was the hometown and last resting place of Enrico Ristelli, a highly technical and world famous juggler who lived in the town and, in nineteen thirty one, died there at the early age of thirty four. There is a life sized statue of Ristelli within his mausoleum. A number of painters were active in the town as well, among these were Giovanni Paolo Cavagna, Francesco Zucco, and Ennia Salmeja, each of whom painted works for the Church of Santa Maria Maggiore. Sculptor Giacomo Manzu and the bass baritone opera singer Alex Esposito were born in Bergamo. The American electrical engineer and professor Andrew Viterbi, inventor of Viterbi's algorithm, was born in Bergamo, before migrating to the U.S. during the fascist era because of his Jewish origins. Designers born in Bergamo include the late Mario Cimandelli, the founder of Crisia and one of the first female fashion designers to create a successful line of men's wear. Sports 
Bergamo's football team is Atalanta who play in the top-level Serie A at the Stadio Atleti Azzurri d'Italia. The city has a women's volleyball team named Fapapedretti Bergamo. The city is also home to the Bergamo Lions American football team, one of the most successful in European Football League history, winning multiple Eurobowls. Education Transportation Airport Bergamo is served by Il Caravaggio International Airport 5 km 3 miles southeast of the town. The city is also served by Milan Lanati Airport 50 km 31 miles southwest of Bergamo. Motorway Motorway A4 is the main axis connecting the city with the east and the west of the country, to cities such as Milan, Turin, Venice and Trieste. Railway Bergamo Railway Station is connected to Milan, Lecco, Cremona, Treviglio, Brescia and Monza with regional trains operated by Trenard. The city is also served by two daily Frecciargento services to Rome operated by Trenitalia. Urban transport Transport within Bergamo is managed by ATB and includes a network of bus lines together with two funicular systems opened in 1887, di Bergamo Alta, and in 1912, Funicolare di Bergamo San Vigilio. The Bergamo Albino Light Rail was inaugurated in 2009. Two light rail lines are currently in the planning stage. Line 2 Bergamo FS, Villa Dalm San Pellegrino Terme. Line 3 Hospital Railway Station FS Trade Fair, Bergamo Airport. Topic: International Relations. Topic: Twin Towns minus Sister Cities. Bergamo is twinned with Bergamo has a partnership with Dobrowa Gornica, Poland Bolesław, Poland Posadas, Argentina, as friendship and cooperation city since 1998. Consulates Bergamo is home to the following consulates Bolivia Malawi Switzerland Topic: Notable people. Giovanni Michel Alberto da Carrara, Gaetano Donizetti, Giacomo Manzu, Lorenzo Lotto, Andrea Previtelli, Pietro Locatelli, Benedetta Zonca, Matteo Garanoni, Ginadrea Gavazzini. Topic. See also Bergamo portal Lombardy San Benedetto, Bergamo San Bernardino in Pignolo, Bergamo <laughs>